Thrill started. It's definitely about to happen soon. Oh, it's about to happen soon. I was so mad. It took me so long to figure out why I couldn't. I wanted to build one of these glass totems and it was being so annoying because it was like. I had the wall and then I could put the tunnel, but it would just have yeah, no it door. Yeah, yeah, but I figured it out. Yeah, it's a pain in the deck. Yeah, you have to build the door in the center one. I think, right? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, you have to build alloy door A or B or whatever. You know, you could have probably have stone and, and wood. They just have to be center doors. But it would totally look like you have a door. It just would be like not going through the wall. Give people a little bit of time to come through. Okay, so that's there. We'll pick this up. Also, what sucked is while I was doing that, I deleted my teleport and this at the top one, and I had to build them all that one all over again. Oh, that's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> So I had to build a landing pad because I was like, I'm not going to build all these stairs <laughs> again. The funny thing that they also do with these auctions is they always put the more better valuable condition issue first. <laughs> hmm. So, so like, you're like, yeah. You know, I could just imagine, like, if you're trying to get one on the cheap, it's like, hey, you can't, like, either you have to bid in on the bigger, better condition first, or then wait for the other one, but not know if you're going to get that one. Because I could see where people would be like, well, I'd spend more on the better condition, but if I could get the lesser condition for cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, so they shouldn't be picked, like, the company shouldn't be douchey about it. They're gonna make money on the drugs. Yeah, but they're trying to make the most money. So I could see where they would do that just because, like, you know, if, uh, you know, say you miss out on the better condition, you can end up paying the similar mount for the lesser condition just because you really want it at that point. Yeah.
Okay, we're fucking pretty fucking far. Let's see. No, there we go. So you just still flying around? Yeah. Finding crash ships. Claiming them. Driving them.
Just trying to see what this is. Excellent. Sixteen. You just had a uh, Crocs. They front and Crocs like Vans now. When that shit happened, when I oh <laughs> the the you watching the ad happened when I uh enabled monetization. I'm sorry. If you want, I can take it off. Also, I thought <sighs> there used to be a thing where if you were like or maybe that was just Twitch, but they got that rid of that. Twitch, if you're like a member or something, you didn't have to watch ads on people's. Are you playing for the premium anyway? But hey, you don't like Crocs? Killer Croc? Gabby has a pair. I bought a pair for uh, when I went camping and we had like a little river next to our campsite. So it was like, you know, go walking in the river. I mean, probably getting water shoes would have been better, but Crocs you slip on an awful lot easier. Also, that's what they had at the, the, um, general store at the campsite. No free slots in suit inventory. Alright, fine. Wait, what? Did that crease or did crease population? I have to load that and look at those options. I know a Marky Mark. Wearing Bundestone last year, it was a bit dry. 
I don't even know what what bloodstone is. Six forty. Six forty. Alright. Ah shit. Empty that thing. Uh. Alright. So we gotta load that again. Bloodstone boots. News to me. A lot of people wear Timberlakes and uh, Doc Martens in America. <laughs> Just saying something, right? Sure. I wear Timberlakes. Oh, I mean, Doc Martin things like a German boot. <laughs> Not that the people are generally wearing them for that. It's me in England. I thought it was a old German thing. We need some Doc Marks. Marky Marks. Margie Marks. I have a thriving settlement here, Paint. Thriving. Also, you know what's funny? I don't know if it was a glitch or what. But I have the the landing pad in front of my base, or, you know, uh, yeah, base, not settlement. Uh, and randos were landing there. <laughs> I, I don't think they were meant to land there, but they were just generally yeah. landing there. Yep, Sock Martins are British folk there. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't questioning you. Well, no, no, I was just curious because I was like, is it that boot that I was thinking of or another one? It was like one that I, I was actually, I thought it was German too until I heard that. I was like, really? I thought they were German. I mean, maybe they moved really always. Yeah, always. Yeah, they were made for the uh, London factory work workers and uh, then during the, the Great War, they transitioned to making boots for uh, the British Army and then they had a resurgence in the punk scene in the 80s and 90s. Well, see, that's what I know. I know there were used to be military boots and then they had a resurgence with punk and, uh, you know, punks in the 80s and 90s. I was a van slip on fan, but a pair of those German market are like 60 euros yeah i like Damn. i do like vans but they do sell them ex i think they're still pretty pricey in america too uh and they do not provide like any uh protection like you know they're just like yeah you, you, they're basically slippers you wear out <laughs> you step in snow or water in that and it's like they have holes on the side so <laughs> <laughs> Basically inviting the water in. <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't worry about how thin we are. We have holes specifically for the water to come in regardless. <laughs> also, yeah, they're they're not even great for like they're comfy, but they're not great for like hiking either or walking long distances. <laughs> That's not what they're made for. That ain't what they're for.
Let's go sell all this shit. God damn it. <laughs> I found a freighter underwater. <laughs> underwater freighter. What you freighter for? You ain't paying more thirty for a slip offs. Yeah. That's generally what I used to pay for shoes was like I'd be like only thirty bucks, but then I don't know. I just I was like I'll just buy better ones. This is the last pair I bought for like thirty bucks. Not even rain, so it just like fell apart instantly. <laughs> and I was like, I'd rather just buy a at least semi quality. They're cheaper because they're not name brand or anything that I know of. But. <sighs> you know. I'll turn your cactus flesh into carbon. Don't talk back. Uh, Please talk back. Yeah. Kind of a pain in the ass to, uh, to mine this uh, fucking crater in the water, to be quite honest. I honestly could imagine, and I was gonna ask you when you got done if it had better loot or if it's just pointless. <laughs> I mean, it's just, just about the same, but it's still like, I, you know, I don't know, I, I can imagine being underwater and it's a little bit more of the pain in the ass, because you gotta keep going up and down. If I fucking made my sub, it wouldn't have been a big deal. What kind of sub you gonna make, Italian? Meatball? Puscati? Get that plus security. That plus What you Pascetti do? A Pascetti. I like the Pascetti. Let's just get honestly I do have to just go somewhere and sell this stuff. I've been kind of holding off on doing it because I keep forgetting to go to a good market, but <laughs> I'm ending up with a bunch of junk in my goddamn inventory. <laughs> what are you gonna do with a bunch of junk? Sell it at the flea market. 
You know what I'll say, and this is a definitive fact. This is a, a you know what? I should probably remind myself to tweet this later. A controversial opinion. Internet ruined flea markets. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> just, this is one of those things people tack on just to seem edgy. And then you go, wait, no, why is that controversial? <laughs> it definitely did ruin them. You know this because now everyone at a goddamn yard sale or flea market is trying to get retail prices. Like, I go. <laughs> You're like, how much is it for this rusty bucket? They're like, well, if you go to Walmart, that's gonna cost you about twelve dollars, so eleven fifty. Like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, well, it's only slightly. It's about thirty old and has a hole in the bottom. <laughs> that's patina. <laughs> <laughs> Only reason I'm interested in it is I'm one of those people who are gonna turn it into a lamp. Well, that's patina. It's like paint said. Sir, spell patina. <laughs> P-I-Tina. <laughs> A rare item found. Who knows? A carbon. Carbon. What am I supposed to do with so much venom? And... <laughs> well, yeah, I totally need that lemon. You got that lemon? What's the... That lemon, you know. You got that lemon? That mango gold? Let me dig low enough. Get your dig going. <laughs> I wonder if Lucifer's gonna have spin off shows. I hope not. Spin off shows are never good. Well, I mean. <laughs> You're kind of right, but it's funny like how some shows kind of reference it <laughs> Like nowadays more Like when a character leaves Like community started that with like the whole Shirley leaving and that would like be like a spinoff uh, But like it seems like other shows be like uh, and I don't think it was I don't recall it being Lucifer, but like, I, there was a few moments where I was like, are they setting up a spin-off here? But I'm not sure. But there was a, another show, I think, which was like, you know, like, something kind of like that. Uh, where, like, they were like, they moved to uh, Alabama to help their, uh, you know, uncle solve crimes or something. Or, you know, yada, yada, yada. And like that sounds ridiculous. It's, like, it's actually heart well warming. <laughs> I 
I'm actually interested to see how... Because Lucifer's a comic. If that ended, how that ends. Like, did they... I assume they might have done it differently. Even if both end it, just because they're like, well, the show's ending, you know, because, you know. Netflix stopped giving a damn. <laughs> Although, oddly enough, kept giving a damn. Right, they gave a damn enough to bring your show back. What, uh, Lucifer? Yeah. Yeah, well, they canceled it, and they were like, all right, we're bringing it back. And then they were like, all right, we're continuing it for another season. <laughs> but, like, that's just proof, like, executives don't really know what they're doing sometimes. Huh. What, you gonna start defending executives now? Come on, you didn't get anything from the Brian salute in the, uh... The head of uh, fucking the academy last night. No, this is all a bunch of bullshit. I didn't. I didn't watch that. No one did, but that was fucking trending all over Twitter all day. I I vaguely saw like I did. I saw a comment about him saluting someone. I didn't really read any of it. Yeah, it was at the opening to the uh, Emmys, they have like the president of the Emmys up there and he does this whole like opening speech and before you can even start talking, you just hear, yes, yes, yes. And then the camera pans out and Conan O'Brien standing, clapping <laughs> erratically. And then you just start saluting. Mm. I did and, see, uh, and... I don't know, was Seth Rogen a host or just a guest? Yeah, he was a... He was the host. Well, I did see him well, make the joke those. about how there's too many people in this small room. And then, you know, of course, other people were roasting him, saying, well, yeah, you obviously went in there knowing that. And then other people being like, no, he was told it was going to be outside, and then when he got there, it was inside. I just frankly don't fucking <laughs> I honestly don't care either. You're the one who like... brought the shit up. <laughs> no, I brought up Conan O'Brien, and you decided to bring up controversy. I brought up Seth Rogen. It's the same thing. We both That's dumb not. shit. Whatever. Fine. Tomato, potato. Suck my fatty love knuckle. Arbuckle. Hey, Sasquatch. Hold up. Alright, fleets. Fleets flying. Hey, little Sasquatch. No, give me a second. This is just gonna be a. Alright.
Alright, you got everything with your sound done? Not going live on sound, like. <laughs> just strangled in an empty room. Lols. Ugh. Let's go sell some food, I guess. Alright! What's up, buddy? How's your ship hunting doing? Good, I have uh, two markers set up so I can go back to them later and collect them again. Nice. I have a couple places built at where ships are, but I just haven't gone back. Lately. Or cloud lift. Huh? Alright, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do with the, you know, if your sound's issues, just, like, if your issue sound, like, OBS, I don't know if you're gonna use OBS. They have, a, like, a lot of, uh, things in there that help. I mean, that's what I've used. No free sluts in inventory. Of course sluts aren't free. free. Slut. I mean, there's no free sluts. I mean, even if they're just down to clown right at the gate, show them a good time. Yeah, we'll get them a 40. Get a box of condoms. No, so you're still paying with your time. I mean, my time. Eh. <laughs> My sex time is not worth that much. <laughs> time is still time. Look at Stan over there. Stan has to listen to all his, all his girls complaining. What? Where? Who? What? You know, Stan. <laughs> uh, I don't want to sell for a loss. Okay. Healing bones, get out of here. Fancy fire making coil things, whatever. Get out of there. You know what, leg meat? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold on to leg meat. I can just go to fucking hell. <laughs> Thermal cores. Take that. Antimatter. Yeah. Lemons. Uh, what? See, I think that's why I end up holding on to so much stuff lately, is I go places and they're just like, we're not paying you dick for it. <laughs> like, suck my bloody love knuckle. I have to, uh, then I'll go back to myself. What? No, ask away. Ask away. Uh, Alright, so they have cobalt. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash their economy with cobalt. Oh wait, also corundra cubes. Get out of there! So that's what I'm talking about. I, I took their cobalt from like plus one to negative 79%. <laughs> 
economy crashed. Also, I'm gonna buy the ferrite dust. Gek, stop gecking at me. Uh, what's the difference between Streamlabs and Streamyard? Uh, well, the main difference I would have to say is I never heard of Streamyard. Hmm. <laughs> um, so that's my main difference. <laughs> um. The difference I know about Streamlabs is between they have what's called slobs, Streamlabs OBS, and uh, OBS, so Streamlabs and OBS. And the main difference there is integration and uh, actual uh, functionality. Because I've, I've seen a lot of people say, I love Streamlabs. Streamlabs is totally cool and everything. And I'm not shitting on them. I'm just saying this is what I've seen. It's I'm anecdotal. Fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just saying it's anecdotal. You know, it could be good. But I, uh, every time I see someone be like, Streamlabs is amazing. It's great. I love doing stream slobs or whatever. Uh, and then like a few weeks later, I say, it's broken. It's not working. It stopped working. Why did it stop working? I don't understand this. <laughs> but it has like a lot better integration uh, versus OBS. You know, OBS you have to enter everything manually. Streamlabs is supposed to connect from Streamlabs to OBS quicker, because that's the thing. You know, if you're using Streamlabs as a pop-up service or whatever, you know, donations and whatnot, followers. Uh, but yeah, I, I have never heard of StreamYard, so I can't honestly comment on that one. I mean, maybe I have to refresh my knowledge there. You know, if you don't stay up to date, you fall behind. Knowledge is key. Right, Pink? Knowledge is power. And power is knowledge. No, I mean, yeah, I know it's okay, but, yo, you know what, uh, let's throw a quick Google on that one, because I never heard of that, and, you know, if there's something new that's cool working out, I'd rather be on the front fort than the back fort, so you know what happens on the back fort. Paint sucks can't sleep, he had his computer. Huh? He <laughs> said paint sucks can't sleep, he had his computer. I was going to say backdoor stuff, but are you getting a sleep out of your computer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have just... I should have known when you were like, I don't want to play. I was like, I should be like you ain't going to fucking play anything long enough. <laughs> uh, mm. Very difficult. Yeah, I don't know. It, uh, it it seems like a new yeah. It seems like a a new Streamlabs. You know, just because they have a similar name doesn't mean they're connected. Because everyone wants to be used the stream name. Uh, you know, because it makes people go, oh yeah, no, I get it. This is mobile streaming. Look at the different streams. The very abrasive OBS. Okay, so hey, here's the things I know about. See, stream, StreamYard shouldn't be your stream source. Even Streamlabs shouldn't be your stream source. Or, or OBS. Basically, OBS or Stream 
uh, basically OBS you put your stream source into. You know, your code, where you're streaming to. Uh, and it broadcasts to there. Streamlabs has things like the pop-ups, you know, or the overlays, stuff like that. Like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get 500 followers. And if you have the counter, if you want to do the counter, you know, it's like, hey, I have 149 working on 500. It shows people your progress. Same with donations or last follower, last donation, whatever. So Streamlabs basically has a stream o OBS, which you enter your um, stream source to. So it still broadcasts to other place. And then it just has those overlays. So StreamYard might just be uh, overlays. What up, Recon? Recon, I think I'm going to start calling you Raccoon. I think that might be a better name. I don't know, personally. I don't know. What do you think, Paint? Paint fell asleep at his computer. I like the name Raccoon21. But if you work in the recon, work the recon. Don't let me influence your personnel. I'm just getting a little wild here. Uh, um, hold on there, Scary. Check something. Boop. Boop. Let's Um. Nice. Oh, Recon, I see everything. Frank. Huh? Howdy. Howdy. I told Recon he should change his name to Raccoon. <clears throat> Rocket. I mean, you know, there might be legal issues if he becomes big with Rocket Raccoon. Uh, like Houston Rockets. But, uh, I don't know. Raccoon just feels like it rolls off the tongue better. And, uh, I, I like the amateur raccoons. Uh, but again, don't let me change your mind, uh, Recon. Uh, I've got my loser I'm done with my mic. I bet that's it. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you probably have... You're probably using two sources at the same time there. Um. Oh, uh, real quick before I forget. Which I might just forget. Uh. Shit, I think I did forget. Oh, well, something else gonna be funny. At least I thought it was going to be funny. Oh, yes, that's what's funny. So it's not a spoiler because they kind of showed in the trailer and, you know, everyone online has already talked about it. But, you know, uh, oh, why can't I think of the goddamn name? I know the name. It's the new Marvel movie. Sha, Sha Chi. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. See, just bad with the names. Uh, so one of the things that came up was the first appearance of Abomination. <laughs> and now people are marketing first appearance of Abomination from Shang-Chi. Because huh. <laughs> they're really... Well, they're just trying to, like... <laughs> 
I get what they're like sort of half ass doing it is trying to like bank on like people not really you know or maybe being like oh yeah no I just watched Shang-Chi and I really like that character uh, or whatever so they're you know trying to like snowball that narrative did you notice that uh the general that ends up being the red hulk is in uh marvel's what if um i don't recall that general dendius thunderbolt yeah. ross Spoilers for anyone who didn't read the fucking comic, like, ten years ago. <laughs> uh, I don't recall it, but I'm not surprised, because they were also in the Marvel movies, and they also had the other guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, God damn it. I don't know. He's basically a cockle, though. Almost. Because uh, what? What was it? He's, he's basically into Betty Ross. Yeah. <laughs> but like he, he can never get past that stage where she just like, I want to be with Bruce Banner. It's like, but he's a monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh. Let's see, uh, general. Uh, I don't even know what the search is there. I'm not even going to bother right now. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It was in, like, the Hulk movie. He, I think he is in one of the what ifs. I think that guy is. I didn't know Junior Th Thunderbolt Ross was. You know what's great about comics? Is they do so wild ass shit. They do. <laughs> Cause the other thing they did was just like, they're like, hey, we're gonna make the superhero group named the Thunderbolts based on, like, you know, like in homage of General Thunderbolt Ross. And I was like, yeah. And then it turns out like, the superheroes are very just villains in disguise. <laughs> like the main one is Baron Zemo huh. but he dresses up like a patriotic American guy <laughs> the wheel of time extreme. I don't know you're starting to talk in riddles now I'm thinking or maybe I'm buzzed up Setting Wheel of Time series amazing is to wait Wheel of Time series um oh Amazon what is Wheel of Time I think that's what threw me for a curve I don't know what that is but you say it's good you say it's eat worthy oh my oh, all the right. goddamn friends that's fine yeah. We're gonna find something new. What do you think about it? You tell me. I'm asking you right now. What do you want to play tomorrow? So you can't come on tomorrow and be like, well, what do you want to play? Because well, I'm gonna I'll shrug. Think about it. You, uh, uh, you have all tomorrow to think about it, and you are right. Uh, see if these updates comes out three days from now. Uh, all right. I'll think about it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Later. I'm sorry. I can entertain you. You open your mouth so wide so you can put a cock in it. Yep. Because they both sound the same. I my eye because I forgot my glasses. Uh, Alright. Later, dude. Later, Gator. Alright. So, what am I looking for here? Some freighters. I'll hire a bunch of freighters. Check them out. 
Time well, yeah, it's like a little cheese, but in time, I don't know. Science vessel? I'm taking no science vessel. Alright, I probably should stop buying vessels. <laughs> This better be a good one. Uh, no. We just bought a science vessel. Sorry. If there was like an S class freighter, that's what we have to look for. But, uh, yeah. let's go sell our good summer. Um, any old drive required. You know what? Okay. Maybe we should build some new drives. Uh, technology. Uh, let's see. We can... Soul technology. Technology installed. Wireloom. Phew, that's tough. Artist thumbnail I ever did in my mouth. How date did you put your thumb? In there. Uh, hmm. Like so. Wire looming. Do I not know how to build a wire looming? Alright, fine. You know what? I mean, this badly out there. This gotta have what I need. I gotta have to have what I need. Five. Five. Alright. Uh. Hmm. No. This pro a lot, but mm, nah, you don't really care that much about what we're Hold on, uh, hold on. So this one is definitely seventy. Uh, Uh. 
Alright. Uh, oh, hey. Let's, uh, check this out. Wait, what? I'm not... <laughs> well, you show me. We're just uh, posting in Discord when you upload the video, and then we'll see the video, and we'll see your beauty face, and thumbnail, and it all. Oh wait, this is my freighter. I <laughs> I'm gonna lose someone else's freighter. Alright, let's save. Let me go grab a drink real quick. I'll be, be right back. Check one thing real quick. Uh, two fifty eight. All right, I have time. Mm. Some in my name. Oh, yeah, we need that. Can you buy this here? Then. My starship has a thing. So, so, switch. Oh, what? 
Alright. So we sold that. And we buy it back. So this is like wiring loomings. Temporal warp computer reading. Fly away, birdie. Mm-hmm. 
First contact. Hey. Or a trendsetter. I'm just looking at something very quick. Alright. What's going on? Well, how you doing? Oh, you're doing all this like you make thumbnails and rebrand and stuff. How's it all going? You know, you, I hope it's going well. I just been pushing around. I should have been hustling. There it goes. Ooh, so. Nice. I'm glad it was very productive. All right. Um. So this. Alright, so all this thing. My bad, Cobalt.
losing my shit. Oh, I'm gonna hang it real quick out. I just gotta look at something real quick. I think. Yeah, okay, it's right there. Okay. Let's uh, see if I got something in here. Okay. Uh, well, just give me a moment. Uh, we can still chat if you guys want to chat while you're working, working, talking. Huh. Want to see what happens or something? Yeah, it's a time for that. But last X Men. I should have had this up there. I just think of something. And then I got four project data right in time. See, nice. I'm getting shit done, guys. I'm getting shit done. Oh,
Just monitor. Oh, I'm not pretty sure no. Yeah, see, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, does this place have wire arms?
Trying to sell it all. Hey. Exactly. What am I doing? I'm so distracted myself.
Alright, so... Uh, you know what? Get these pearls out of here. Get that out of there. Tired of holding on to shit, fine. You don't want to give me the money it's worth? I'll just take one. I don't too much of the junk to keep traveling around with the sell to. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe I could get a better price somewhere for it, but... I want to hustle them by... ...doing this. My <laughs> starship is, uh... ...free. <laughs> I think I around about four years late, four light years is. Jumps for Nice. This isn't my main starship. This is my sailor ship where I keep all the cobalt tossel. Uh, I got a living ship. I got an S class ship. Uh, I got the original starter ship. I named Three Wishes of Heaven because that's as far as it goes. What are you doing? Just a little, little hutty hut hut. Uh, 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 Hey, we're still using the word is the word. So look, that's so we call the little hub. I got the whole thing up there. Let's go get the real shit. Years these things go, but I like them. That one I should, so. <laughs> Five of these from uh, I took the final lab just there. Mm-hmm. 
Send another one out. I'm just a surly safe return. Samurai Santa. What? Uh. All right. You know what? I think I gotta also call it early night here. So thanks everyone for watching. So let's watch. Tonka Tonk, I don't know how to say your name. Recon. Uh, yeah, all I remember is, oh, and Mark Ivory. And then all I remember is Mark Ivory. Recon, Fair TV. Escalabar. Smith coming, come on. Corpse Cupcake, Titina. T Martin. All you little folks. Yeah. I'm gonna hop out for the night. I appreciate you guys hanging out, working, working, twerking. Uh, have a grand old time at the 